everyone, it's Girl Khan and you're watching another Supernatural review and this is season 5 episode 8, Changing Channel. If you're new here, I do a recap and review every single episode of Supernatural, so let's get into it. I usually do these videos with my AC on, but it's been very, very hot. It's the summer, um, so I have the AC on. If you can't hear me, just up your volume. Changing channels, everyone knows this episode, and if this is your first time watching Supernatural and watching this episode, you're like, wow, this is an episode you'll remember this episode this is probably like top 10 supernatural episodes it's really up there on that list and it's a really like memorable episode like everyone remembers this episode it's something that sticks with you if, you know if you're a supernatural fan and someone's like tell me about a few episodes of supernatural someone might say this episode it's probably one time where i thought like maybe this could be the best episode of supernatural maybe even like top two it's not probably it's probably top 10 you know, um, I think it, right now I have it on my list uh, for top episodes in season five behind the end, just because the end, but like this episode is so amazing in some ways. And I've watched that episode so many times and you know, I know how the episode goes, but it's still like so entertaining because you obviously can't remember every single detail. So it's, it's entertaining to watch and it's an entertaining and good overall episode. I mean, it starts out where you're like, what is happening? What is this? And then it gets into it, but they have that like theme song. <laughs> and it's so funny. Like I, you just like can tell that they had fun making this episode. And so it's like really like a writer's dream this episode to have, and I like how it's like, all the different TV shows they were in, it's all like different types of TV shows and they were showcasing like lots of different things. So it's like kind of like a writer's dream where they get to play so much with this. And I love like a different aspect of like seeing the different TV shows and they were all like based off real things. So the, the one, well I should start, the doctor one was like kind of like making fun of Grey's Anatomy and Dr. Sexy was making fun of, um, I think Derek Shepard. I never watched Grey's Anatomy, sorry guys. I watched like the first episode and then someone threw up and then I immediately turned it off because that's when I was like, throw up phobia. <laughs> the guy who played Derek, what's his name? I'm forgetting his name. There's been a lot of other stuff, but him and um, Dunstan once was, once was together in a, a limited series. Anyway. I think of that they were so the one where we started off with that is you know like a oh my god I'm forgetting it, the name of it film school <laughs> multicam it's a multicam show um which is multicam it's kind of like um filmed in front of a live audience which I think they said at the beginning and it's something where it's like the laughs are natural so like friends is multicam um, multicam used to be way more popular. It's not anymore. Like I don't even know how many multicam shows there are. Saturday Night Live is technically multicam, but it's also like different <laughs> because it's yeah. You know, well, it is scripted, but it's also not. I, I don't know. Anyway, so they had that, and then they had the Japanese game show, um, which is its own thing, and then they had where it was like some kind of cop show which is like you know those like episodic cop shows they have that and then they had where um jared was like a car and i think there's like that real show i don't know if it's night rider i might be mistaking it where it's like this guy and his car like solve crimes so it's kind of like like you know they probably were thinking of like all the different types of shows that they could do and what they could you know do from it and playing off real shows and so you know this one obviously fit and so they probably had a lot of fun like picking what would work and when it would work in the episode as well and they had that <laughs> um what was it herpes commercial which was like a little bit not a show but it was funny because man I'm losing my voice in TV shows, there's commercials usually, so it's just funny. Am I forgetting anything else? I don't know. I do know, I remember this from the episode, is they literally say bitch so many times, like son of a bitch. They say so many times that they start, they have to say SOB a, a few times. They can't actually say son of a bitch. And I wonder if it's because like you can say bitch for like, was it TV 14 or something? But I wonder if it was like, if you get to a certain limit, you can't say anymore, which is why they said SOP. 
but something they clearly like realized before they filmed the episode or unless it was something that they um, voice over while editing because they re realized they reached the limit. But obviously um, when the script, it has to be approved. So maybe it was when the script was written, they were like, you know, someone looks over to make sure like, like curse words or like the language fits. So maybe they realized like they said bitch too many times so they changed it to son of a bitch because it's literally so many times in the episode. So I like this episode and I think a few other episodes it's like these writers have like a list of like ideas they want to do. And so they try to make it work for that season and how they can make it work when the season. So part of me is like what if we had this episode like in season 7 or something. You know how it would be different because it'd be tailored to that season and what's happening in that season so this episode was tailored to this episode we you know they kind of thought it was going to be the trickster and it, it was the trickster it was that guy's trickster but it turned out the trickster is an archangel gabriel and it's kind of crazy this is the first time like dealing with the archangel well actually they dealt with raphael actually i'm lying they did they already dealt with raphael or at least gene casted it's funny like this is the archangel and this is what he does and they realized it was a little bit more personal the way he was going about him and he must be an angel. I think it's a, when you're like analyzing it, it is a little bit of a stretch because they were trying to do it. But it's funny because it's this thing where like these are what they're supposed to do. Like you're supposed to be Lucifer, you're supposed to be Michael. This is what you're supposed to be doing. And so he's trying to be like play your roles. Like so <laughs> it's a yeah, it's that's how it works. But I mean, it's kind of weird that like, this is what he wants. And so he's trying to do that, Gabriel. Um, but then in the end, like there was, you know, they kind of just like let him go and it hasn't been fully resolved. And them saying that they don't want to do it. I think they were just, you know, trying to have this idea and they, even though it is episodic, you know, they're in a season. And so it's kind of hard to like have this be an episode without something else with it. So that's why you have to bring it into what's happening in the season and I think it works and if someone was just to watch this episode which I have made people do just like watch this episode before you know you don't really need to care about this other stuff I mean it's a little bit gets in the way you know cast is kind of random in it so like who what is he how did he get in so it's like a really funny and good overall episode and it works it works and it's one of the top episodes and it's so strong and it's what people remember and it's something that like the writers did right like the writers you know took this idea and you know they could have done it wrong with all the other episodes or show ideas but they did a great job and they did it right so this video is getting long so i'm going to end it here but you know changing channels i don't even know how many times i watched this episode but it's so entertaining so great to watch it's such a great overall episode but thank you guys for watching like comment subscribe